Adding to this musical conversation is one Dr. Hannah C. Jones, who is a musician, composer, conductor, and broadcaster, to keep it brief. She made reference to this episode's main theme in her body of work, titled Odes. What I'll be focusing on is her analysis of Western music and traditional African music that really covers the main topics and concepts mentioned in this episode. Here are her words. Generally, within Western music, music is noted. Distinction is made in terms of arts and audience, first group tending to be limited in number. Music is created and owned by one. Music is divorced from aspects of everyday life. There are orchestral instruments which are grouped under the strings, the woodwind, the brass wind, and the percussion. There is little or no use of hand clapping. Western art music has one rhythm in command. There is unified performance. Jones continues. Generally, within African music, it is not notated, but passed down through oral tradition. It is communal. Audience are not separated from artists. Music is a part of life, not separated from it. Traditional African music, when created, can be used by all. Stress is placed upon activity as an integral functioning part of the society. There is an enormous variety of instruments grouped under chordophones, that is strings, membranophones, drums, aerophones, winds, and idiophones, self-sounding. Hand clapping is used as an idiophonic device in making music. Use of complex rhythms, polyrhythms. A piece of African music always has two, three, or four different rhythms at a time. Jones ends with a question that I'll admit I don't really understand, but it doesn't take away from her illustration. I don't bring these comparisons up to debate which one is better, but really for an appreciation of how they differ, you know, giving description to the inherent qualities of these types of music. As she says, distinction in Western music made in terms of arts and audience, which you see embodied in orchestral performances. And if you watch the documentary Repercussions, you'll witness how music is an undercurrent of African society that is tapped into during performances. 